Today, we are in beautiful Pearl Harbor, just about to explore the interior of the USS Bofin, a naval submarine who played an integral part in World War II. She was open to the public in 1981 as part of the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center and Museums. She is just shy of 312 feet in length and she's capable of diving to 400 feet. This is cool. Such tiny racks. Look how shiny. She carries 10 21 inch torpedo tubes. Look at these things. I personally cannot imagine how a man slept directly above a torpedo, but I think we can all agree that sailors are simply of a higher caliber. Along with her 24 torpedoes, she also carried two 50 caliber machine guns on her deck and a 40 millimeter anti-aircraft cannon. She'd be launched exactly one year to the day after the attack on Pearl Harbor. She'd quickly earn herself the nickname Pearl Harbor Avenger for she would go on to be credited with the sinking of 44 enemy ships over the course of her career, landing her 15th in kills among the 188 World War II submarines with a sinking record. I was fortunate enough to explore the Bofin with someone who's actually spent six months living on a military ship and was delightfully accustomed to the tiny spaces, racks, and doorways. I was continually amazed at his ease in maneuvering, and he was telling me stories about having to slide into these bunks sideways or waking up and hitting your head. The Bofin would serve for nine patrols, being decommissioned and recommissioned multiple times between her launch in 1942 and her retirement in 1971, and she would help write the definition for what was newly becoming known at the time as the Silent Service. She very nearly took part in the Korean War as well, being recommissioned for two years, refitted, and then decommissioned again at the cessation of North Korean hostilities. She carried 80 men total, 10 officers and 70 enlisted, each highly trained in his station with many of the men being just barely at or above enlistment age. In fact, it would go on record later that the youngest sailor lost in the Pearl Harbor attack was only 16 years old, having lied about his age for the chance to defend his country. Ship? Yeah. Really? They're a little bit bigger. Just being a sub, they're way smaller, but 
Yeah, it's about the same. I mean, it's still so big, though. Here's the engine. Oh, my God. Main exhaust stop valve. Oh, that's a big wheel. Keep hitting my head on shit, though. <laughs> Big motor. You know how loud this place is when it's running? I love that we're allowed to touch things. Yeah, little switches and knobs and love oil alarm. Oh my god, here you go. Main engine. There's all the knobs you could possibly want right there. <laughs> Reminds me of the inside workings of an old mine. Switches and stuff. Lots of switches and stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. On Tokyo again. Cruiser of a submarine. And pencils have not changed. Damn. Record of torpedo. Oh, I want some of that. 